Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I'm going to do the crochet hook tag. <laughs> I was asked to uh, do it. I don't know if I was tagged. I haven't got to watch everybody's because I've been we've been out of town. But um, I'm, I've got a lot on my watch later list. I got to catch up on. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, I thought I would do it. So I uh, brought my crochet hooks in here. Most of them. Um, some of them are in projects and some of them are in my cart. So I just left them there. I don't want to bring all of them in here. But I got three different little bags with hooks in them <laughs> to share with you guys all right so i think there's 10 questions and i want to go ahead and say that anyone who hasn't done it yet feel free to take this as your tag um you can copy the questions that are in the description and answer them in the comments below on the facebook group email them to me or make a video so um because i would love to see what you guys' answers are but let's go ahead and start so number one what is your favorite brand of hook so for the longest time when i first learned to crochet i learned with boy hooks because that's what my mom had and then, um, you know, over the years of doing my own thing, I discovered Susan Bates right there. And these became my new favorite because it, I felt like it grabbed the yarn better because this part's pointier, this little part right here, and it just grabs the yarn better. Um, so Susan Bates have been my favorite for years. And then I got gifted some Clover Amours, I think is what they're called. Uh, a while ago it's been gosh it's been eight, two or three years and those became one of my new favorites <laughs> which is funny because they have a boy like hit, hit, uh, head but I think because this stuff is made differently it works better I don't know but I still always use my Susan Bates and my Clover Amores that were gifted to me and uh, I bought a bunch of different Susan Bates I've got some Plumber Clay ones and I got, also got some gifted to me this is one I got and um uh, vlogmas last year and then i also got a really cool set of these soft gripped ones gifted to me over the years i just collect them <laughs> i keep all kinds of hooks but uh those are my favorites now yeah. susan bates and clover amores number two is what is your favorite crochet hook size size i read that backwards but it's the same question <laughs> uh my go-to for evan Grimmy is an elf hook which is the ones i use is a 3.75 and my go-to for a lot of other things is an H hook. <laughs> Hats and all kinds of things like that. Uh, if I'm just wanting to whip out like a square to make or a scarf or something, uh, I will grab an H hook and work with that. H and F are like my favorite size hooks. I have been using all G hooks lately though, <laughs> too. Uh, number three, do you prefer tapered hooks like boys or prefer inline hooks like Susan Bates? Inline, definitely. Um, well, I don't know though because I like both of them, I guess, <laughs> but um, I do love Susan Bates, so I like the inline hooks. Number four, how do you grip your hook? Is it a pencil grip or a knife grip? I do not understand how anyone crochets like this. <laughs> I watch the videos and I'm like, how do they do that? So I'm a knife person. I hold my hook like this when I crochet, <laughs> like that. <laughs> I used to though, when I first started crocheting, I crocheted with my hook in my left hand and I controlled my yarn with my left hand also. I don't know how I did that, but uh, it was just how I learned. And I wanted to start doing it like everybody else that I saw in videos. So I had to teach myself to, from doing it both with my left hand to my right hand and my left hand doing it. Uh, it was really hard and I almost stopped, but I uh, I got it down. I mostly did that because I wanted to start making tut tutorials and I didn't want people to see how weirdly I crocheted. <laughs> but um, it still worked perfectly. My projects always came out looking the same as they were supposed to, but I just did it weird. Yes. Anyways, number five. How does your style of hook dictate how you crochet? Does your style of hook dictate how you crochet? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that means, so I'm just going to go ahead and bypass that question. Number six. Do you prefer ergonomic hooks or regular hooks? I used to only use the straight ones because, like I said, I just learned on regular boy hooks, the, like, blue toned ones from Walmart because it's what my mom had and I still have those hooks I haven't put up because they're special <laughs> but um then I discovered these tops these polymer clay ones I found them on like a Facebook post and I liked them better because you know they fit better in my hand and um then I started getting the more bigger like ergonomic ones this one was gifted to me <clears throat> and I really started liking them and I really like these ones so that's kind of ergonomic I guess I like them better than the straight hooks. It's almost hard for me to use the straight ones now. Even these ones, these ones are slim. 
and they're still really comfortable. I like them a lot. But yeah, if you look down in here, I don't have hardly any regular hooks, except like smaller ones. This one came in a crochet kit. <laughs> this is, I don't think this is even a boy. It's like a, you know, like one of those random knockoff brands. But almost all of my hooks uh, have some sort of handle on them now. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Number seven. What are your thoughts on lighted hooks? I have one. I was gifted one, I think in a swap box. I'm trying to remember. I can't remember how I got it. And, um, I didn't really like using it because it, it has a head like a boy. And, uh, I just thought the lighted part of it was kind of useless. Like, when I saw them first on ads and stuff, I was like, that's so cool. But, um, once you actually start using it, it doesn't really... Like, I didn't like where the light was. I don't know. I just, it wasn't my thing. So, I ended up giving that hook that I was gifted to the girl that I used to babysit. She's a teenager now. <laughs> but, um, and she uses it. She likes it. So, I give her a lot of stuff over the years. <laughs> lots of yarn, lots of hooks, project bags, all kinds of stuff. Because I was teaching her to be a crochet lover. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I'm, I'm not a big fan of them. But, um, I guess some people are because they're still selling them. <laughs> Number eight. What, um, have you ever used a hook with interchangeable heads no I have not I've seen those but I've never used one I've used interchangeable knitting needles I have a set but uh, I don't I've never used the interchangeable crochet hooks I'm sure that they're, they're good if they screw on they're good because it'd be convenient to have them all in one little thing but, I mean I just have little bags so it doesn't matter <laughs> uh, number nine do you like projects that require small stainless steel hooks or larger hooks um, I like seeing other people's projects made with little hooks. I like doilies and stuff, but I'm a larger hook. I like using F through like J, and I don't really like using the huge hooks unless uh, I really want to make that pattern. <laughs> but I usually use like F, G, and H for things. Number 10, the last one. If you were only allowed to use two hooks for the rest of your life, what size and brand would they be? I would probably use Clover Amour F and H for their small off. <laughs> That's basically what I use now. But I do flip flop through um, Susan Bates and stuff. But yeah, so I have my hooks kind of separated. I have this little bag. I don't remember how I got this. I think I got this in a gift from someone. I keep bags, so I can't remember. With It's got actually got two sets of those. Um, Susan Bates. I think they're called comfort grips. I can't remember. But I really like them. They're nice. So it's got like two full sets in there of them. That's my little bag. And then my bag with the balloon animals on it has all my other Susan Bates hooks. <laughs> so I've got the polymer clay ones that I got from uh, oops, Christmas in there. I got this one that uh, was gifted to me, I think. And it's just really pretty. So I'll keep it. I got this one that I bought forever ago. It's got a cookie on it. This one I got gifted to me. I actually had two of these gifted to me. And I gave one of them to the girl that I babysit. Or used to babysit. I got my frog one. I got my bunny one. This is one my sister got me for Christmas. It's got a little sheep with it. Peppermint. It's a little. It's an F hook. No, it's a G hook. A lot. I got my hamburger that's missing the top. Is when Jesse was... Uh, it was in 2017 when I got this because Jesse grabbed it and he was like he was over a year but under two years and he bit the top off. I still have the top somewhere because I keep meaning to glue it on there and I keep forgetting. I got that one. I got this one that my sister also got for me. It's like a Valentine's theme one. This is a boy hook though. What is this? This is an E hook. That's not an E. Is that an E? Yeah, it's an E hook. Boy hook. I got, this is one of my favorite ones. I always grab this one. This is my little mouse F hook. <laughs> it's got a little mouse on it. And then these are my regular straight Susan Bates. This is a big giant one. But these are there. These, I keep these in this bag in case all my favorite ones are in projects. Because I've done that before. Sometimes I have a ton of projects. Sometimes I have one. <laughs> I keep them in there for my emergency hooks. So that's my Susan Bates. And that one random boy. And then this last one. Right here. Has got all my Clover Amores. And also, there's some random ones. Like, this isn't a Namor, but it's similar. I don't even know how I got this. I think this was in some yarn that I got from someone. Or I got off Facebook Marketplace. I remember I got some hooks just randomly in projects.
but it's kind of like it, so I use it. This is one that was gifted to me that I love. This is a um, Furls Swirl, I think. It's so pretty. It's an H hook, and I do use it. And then there's all my other. These are Clever Amores, and then, like I said, there's some random other ones in there, but they're the same kind of grip ones. And then this one, because it won't fit in other things that I have, and I want to keep it protected. <laughs> Yeah, so those are the hooks that I mainly use. I do have some more ergonomic hooks with wooden handles that are really nice. They're real big, and um, I use them a lot, but they're the ones that's in my cart, and they stay in that little cup on the side of my cart because I use them a lot. I just pull them out and use them and put them back. Uh, I didn't bring that in here because the boys are in the living room, <laughs> but um, do I have any more hooks other than the ones that's in projects because I have a few projects going that have hooks in them. So yeah, so that's my hooks. I think that's most of them. Other than my special ones. And I do have some really big ones. Those big plastic ones. But they're in my uh, caboodle. <laughs> that I keep stuff stored in. Uh, because I rarely use them. But I want to keep them in case I want to make some kind of blanket yarn thing. <laughs> in the future. You never know. But uh, yeah. So those are all my hooks. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them. Back to the little tiny hooks though. I do want to try using thread and little steel hooks to make things. Because I love the little delicate doilies and Christmas ornaments and stuff and I have a couple Christmas ornament books one that I bought and one that was gifted to me that have thread ornaments in it and I want to make them so bad because they're so pretty but um uh, it's gonna take like some learning <laughs> so I need to get some I need to just get like a ball of that thread in like a basic color like white or something and just start I do have some steel hooks they're put up in my caboodle <laughs> and um I need to they're actually the original ones they were my mom's so um yeah, she gave me all her hooks forever ago, and then I ended up having to give her some of my hooks because she started crocheting again. But, uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here, and I gotta edit this a little bit because I messed up a few things, <laughs> but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm bad at reading stuff out loud, but, uh, like I said, feel free to answer these questions if you want in the comments or whatever, and, uh, because I love reading them, and other people love reading them too, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.